Greetings, fellow portal masters. Greetings, fellow portal masters. I'm Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to crash this guy. I just bit the side of my cheek somehow with another episode of the Crash. What in the world am I saying? I bit my cheek and completely ruined what I was going to say. This time it's the half hour. Great way to start out this video. I bit my cheek and said crash. What in the world? Crash Smash? Oh, this is Crash Smash now, guys. That's on Tuesdays. No, this is honestly half hour. I don't know how I managed to bite the side of my cheek and screw that up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at one, it's one of those episodes already. So we are now 23 episodes in in this series, and you might not know what it is. You're like, Crash, what in the world, the world is honestly half hour? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Honestly, half hours where I sit down with a Skyliner for roughly 30 minutes. I do 5 minutes for an intro, 5 minutes for an outro, and 20 minutes worth of gameplay. That's why the video is so short sometimes. And what I do is I give them a full defender rating of 1 to 5. Now, you're asking yourself, Crash, how in the world do you pick these Skylanders? Well, first of all, it's every single Skylander ever. Besides for Series 1, 2, 3, Minis, and Variants. But I have all my Skylanders put away in these tubs. And then I take every single Skylar that's still remaining on this show, put them into a random name picker, and we draw one. So whatever random name pops up, that's the Skylar I'm delegating a half hour with. And then I'm going to give it a rating from 1 to 5. And as you see on this show, I have given some kind of unfair ratings. I like the fact that a lot of you guys are disagreeing or agreeing with me in the comments. I like to have an encouraging kind of thing. I know people who hate certain Skylars that I give a good rating to, and there's Skylars that people love that I give a bad rating to. And that's what the great joy of this series is. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to waste no more time. Hop into our pick and see who we are giving a half hour of honesty to. I think that's better than the random things I say. All right, so... Here is the remaining list, still a lot of Skylanders left, and we have... Fiesta! This would be a good one. So if y'all might not know, Fiesta is on my um, disappointing Skylanders list. Because I was very disappointed with him, unfortunately. But we gotta give a half hour to him now. We're gonna sit down and actually play with him for a while. I even have the uh, Crypt Crusher, his uh, vehicle. Is it Crypt Crusher? Or is that a YouTuber? It is YouTuber. Hi, Crip Crusher. What's up? Um, we're going to be playing his Fiesta now, giving him a full half hour, and seeing what we're going to give him out of five. So let's put him on the portal and get this started. Supercharged. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the uh, in the game. So you may notice my Fiesta is only level one. Um, it's because I was playing as Frightful Fiesta for all the other times. I actually just got the original Fiesta and never really touched it. So we're going to start the timer here now. So he has none of his abilities. Just straight up honesty, he has nothing. Because <laughs> I have not, I think this may be the first time I played as regular Fiesta. <laughs> so yeah, he has nothing to him. Completely honest here. Um, my Crypt, my Veagle for example, like just a... Like, that's the vehicle. So, like, I'm like, alright. I'm kind of surprised by my, my vehicle because I didn't think this is what I chose for it. But whatever. Anyways, we're going to just play as him as, like, we just got him. Okay, we're going to raid him from brand new. How about that? And I don't mean the band. Brand new. If you don't know that band, that's fine. Um, so what we do with every episode is we always do one from the last one. So we did this one, do a bit of Cloud Breaks. This one will do Land of Undead, I guess. I think that's it. Don't know how long I'm going to last in these levels, since I'm only level one. But I have a supercharged combo, so that might work. Um, so yeah, for supercharge, what we do is we always play a level of it. So this one's the Count Money Bone. When we get to Count Money Bone's battle, I'm just going to back out. There's no point. Makes you do it. Right, just give me a second to check my phone. Everything is all good. All good in the hood. There we go. We're going to close this out and keep that open. There we go. We're good. Okay. Should we be able to skip now? No. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to skip. Yeah, no. One day we'll be able to skip the cutscenes. Wait for it. I love this part. I can't go into Lush. I'm allergic to most of the stuff in that. Look at things from a new perspective. Cool. Alright, come on. Can we skip all this, please? 
Okay, so I'm gonna be collecting coins and all that stuff because I don't have any of his upgrades. Now this is where you say to yourself, so the fact you put him on his disappointing list is because you didn't have all of his upgrades? No, uh, Frightful Fiesta, I have all of his upgrades. Straight up honesty, I have Frightful Fiesta's upgrades. I've played as Frightful Fiesta for a long time. And look at this, I'm undead too. Look, I leveled up already, look at that. First, first kill, and it leveled up. So I love Fiesta's design. I love it. It's um, Del de de Muertos. I think that's what it is. Sorry, I'm not uh, Spanish, so or I have Spanish heritage, so I can't. I don't know. I'm probably not pronouncing anything properly. So please correct me. I thought it was Cinco de Mayo. I think in my video I said Cinco de Mayo, but it's actually Day of the Dead. Um, thanks to the the movie Coco. I know a lot about that. I think a lot of people learned about that kind of culture during Coco, which Coco is a fantastic movie. But we're not here to talk about Coco. All right, we're not here to talk about my old classmate. That's not her actual name. I just called her Coco. We're just gonna say we're gonna go around and just try to uh, grab things here and just keep, defeat some enemies. I can't do that yet. Okay, let's get my little men out. Okay, little men, go for it. Show me. Okay, the little men shoot. The little men shoot. All right. Oh. Now, you're, now again, you're saying, like, Crash, are you serious? Like, listen, I haven't played as Fiesta since Superchargers came out. I'm not gonna lie. Look at them level up pretty quickly here. Um, I haven't played as Fiesta since Superchargers came out. When Supercharged first came out, I got Frightful Fiesta, and I got, um... Shut up! I got regular Fiesta a while after, because they were doing a buy one, get two free deal. So I went and got regular Astro Blast along with regular Fiesta and regular um, Sunrunner at EV Games. That was when, unfortunately, Superchargers was like dying off and Imaginators was nowhere to be seen, so they were just trying to get rid of stock, really. So I went and got those, because I didn't actually have those versions, so I went and picked them all up. Because I got Legendary Astro Blast in a Skylar Hunt episode. If you guys go back to watch one of those, you'll see where I, when I got that one. Um, I think it was maybe... Was it the first episode of Skylar Hunt? I think it actually might have been the first episode of Skylar Hunt when I got, uh, excuse me, when I got uh, Astro Blast, the legendary one. So yeah. Oh, I was like, why can't I pick that up? This is oh, that was a waste. Crypt Crusher's fully leveled. All my vehicles are fully leveled up, by the way, every single one of them. If I'm not mistaken, actually I don't know. Is the Sunrunner fully leveled up? Probably not. No, me. So we, as always, we're not judging the character on their vehicle either, so I think Crypt Crusher is fine. I uh, didn't give it a very high ranking in my Every Vehicle Ranked video, which is fine. But yeah, they, uh, it's not my favorite one, but we'll try to switch. Oh, we gotta switch to Lava Lance Eruptor. Oh, wait. It's over now. I'm assuming it's over now. By the time this episode comes out, it's probably over. Or it's on the last episode. I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm not going to say anything. Just, just in case there's people who haven't watched it or didn't even know that it exists, maybe. So if you guys haven't watched the Supercharged Lock, do it. It's worth it. Fiesta isn't in it, actually. He'll be in a future episode. He'll be in a future lock. The next Superchargers Lock I do, I think, will be with the, will be with the new cores. It'll, it'll just be called the Supercharged Lock again, and I'll be like, I'm using these, not the new cores. And people are going to be like, are you kidding me? You're out of ideas already? And I'm just like, how is that out of ideas? Did you see that vehicle just go sideways somehow? I'm not a big fan of his control, man. Like, I think... I think his handling is the worst. Out of all the vehicles, I think Crypt Crusher's handling is the worst. I'm very sorry. Shout out to you boy Crypt Crusher. He's a YouTuber, by the way. Go check his videos out. He's pro if, he's, if he's watching, he's probably going to watch this episode because Crip Crusher, and he'll be like, ooh, maybe he's going to say my name. Oh, I've been saying your name a lot there, Crip Crusher, buddy. Here's your free publicity. we got to support the new up, the up and coming SkyTubers, you know? Because, like, they got some good ideas, and they're the future of this series. One day, me and Jap, well, Jap, probably in like a week or so, is going to be too old to be able to do videos anymore. So, we're going to have to get the younger ones doing the videos, you know? Sorry, sorry, I forgot. Brylander and P Diddy also. 
Pity that it doesn't do a lot of Skylar content anymore, but regardless. If you guys happen to be new to the channel and you have no clue what I'm talking about, there's a bunch of other Skytubers out there. The best way to check out all these Skytubers, if you if you go to my every ranking videos, like any of those, in the description there's a ton of Skytubers, so you have tons and tons of Skylander content if you want to watch. I don't care. Alright, can I... Can I upgrade Anton? Oh no, I can't. I need to talk to Persephone. Okay. Okay, so I can't switch to my laid low yet because I don't have a... Uh... There should be Persephone around here somewhere. I think there's there's a Persephone in every level, if I'm not mistaken, so... Because we're going out of the way because we want to get um, experience and stuff and all that. Because I want to level them up as fast as I can. As you can see, level 5 already. What's up in here? Persephone! Personify! She's not here. That's fine. We're not trying to complete the level either, we're just playing as them, so... The thing is, is you're saying to yourself, Crash, are you going to be able to rank Fiesta with all of his abilities if you don't have all of his abilities? Well, that's good. That's that's a good, that's actually a really good question to ask. And that's the number one thing. How am I going to rank him? Um, I'm going to have to do a benefit of a doubt, and hopefully I'll be able to get his third ability soon. I might actually, like, quit out and start again. I don't know where Persephone is in this level. So home she sells up pretty soon, so I can actually, you know get his third ability because I don't have laid low right now. I don't have a max down. I know this is another thing people always say about the show. You're just like, why in the world are you playing with Skylar's not even maxed out? It's because I want to. And I also don't know they're not maxed out. I totally forgot when I put Fiesta on there it came up level one. I was like, oh, okay. Are you serious again? It's ridiculous. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go find Persephone so I can get laid low. So, like, I like his horn ability. I've always done that. The little dudes, I'm going to have to use them now just to get a good feel for them because I never really gave them a good run right now, so. Persephone! Are you over here? Okay, we're going to go in here. Do this one up. It's really warm here today, actually. I would open up my window, but I don't want to have any noise in the background. The undead element are stronger in this zone. Undead element are stronger in this zone, guys. Did you know that? I'm gonna go around this way first. The sideway areas really mess me up. <laughs> just straight up. You just go treasure for no reason with treasure. But come on, here we go. Alright, then we just run sideways. I went to the round one. Just realized that. Go back. Oh my! Why do you watch my videos? I'm absolutely useless. There we go. We gotta run over and teleport over here and grab this stuff here and get attacked, obviously. You can't hit me. You can't hit me! Doop a doop a doop 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 doop. This is the one that defies my logic. I don't understand how this, uh, how the path can follow <laughs> with this upside down. Nice, there we go. We'll just stand here beside it. So how's your day going? Good? That's good. Set it for another episode of Honesty Half Hour? Yeah, me too. Are you serious? Three treasure chests. No, four if I'm not mistaken. All four that I've opened up have been, like treasure chests and the pinatas and all that stuff, have all been gear bits for the vehicles, which I don't need. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be Josh in me. If your name is Josh, like Striker Hero, then you gotta be, you gotta be Striker Hero cameling me right now. We're gonna try to get to Persephone. I don't know where she is. There's a land vehicle, or a sea vehicle or something back there. You know, we're gonna use we these little dudes now and see how much they do damage. They do a little bit of damage. Let's see, just do right here, isn't it? Yep. There you go. Get them, little dudes. Nice, good job. And they play music too. You hear him? Little dude, follow me. Look, he's coming after me. Come on, little dude. Let's go, dude. 
Oh, he exploded. Do you just hate when that happens when your little dude is following you around and he just explodes? Come on. <laughs> How much time we got left? Let's see. Seven minutes. Okay, we are going to quit out and we're going to go back to the main academy. We're going to get um, that level up. So I can use the flat the flat out ability, which is his triangle move for the PlayStation. Um, well, his third move. I'm gonna go get that, and I'm going to I'm going to just do one of those random little ones like Tessa or Hugo has. I'm just gonna do one of those little mission type things, you know. So I can actually give a good feeling for him because I need to get a full set of his moves. I can't just use the same two moves because that's all I have, which is all I have, to be honest. But yeah, like right now, all I'm doing is pretty much giving a rating on Crypt Crusher. So let's go get his third ability. So we can use it. Kelly has a nice hat. I don't know if you saw that. Are you ready for a new magic there we go. Weapon? Press trying to become partially hidden and don't get damage. That's the same. Right? Taking reduced damage. And now my little amigos can attack more damage. There we go. So we got two upgrades. It's better than nothing, I guess. And we're also going to run over here because as far as I know, I have... Yes! I get a free uh, level up here, too. So I'll get Fiesta up to level 6. Perfect! And we have a couple of wishing... Wish stones thrown here. Of course, we get more of the gear bits. We got some coins. Perfect! And we have... Some more coins! Alright, do I have enough for another upgrade? Let's see. It's going up pretty quickly here. 600, okay, we don't have enough. That's fine, we're gonna go talk to Tessa now and hopefully we can get a battle. Battle Brawl? Use the grow ability in this oh. location to squish some... Yeah, that's fine, we can go there. It's Clux area. We'll go there and just do, we'll just go there and just do a couple moves and stuff. See how his um, flat out ability works. And see if that's any good. I know for a fact that you can upgrade that ability and when he's underneath after you come up he does damage or he's still underneath and does damage, one or the other. This is the episode where I talked about our favorite kind of chicken, if you've seen it in the supercharged lock. That episode is out, I know that for a fact. Sponsored by KFC, that was the episode name. How much time we got left now? We got five minutes. We might go a little bit over just because we haven't really done a lot of actual fights, you know? It sucks that this place doesn't have battle arenas, you know? It's, it'd be great to have a battle arena for this one. Like, the only battle arena you could do is go into Battle Brawl Island or hopefully Tessa gives you something, right? There we go. Perfect. Let's go, let's go. Don't care. Come on, let's go, 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 go! So this is the flat out ability here, so you just go underneath. I don't care, Scooter. So you go underneath here and uh, reduces damage. Oh, that! Oh, I just—I literally just saved that chicken's life. Yeah, wow, indeed, I just saved that chicken's life. Okay, let's see now. It says reduce damage, so let's see how much damage it would be if it actually hits me. Thirty-four, twenty-three. Okay, now without now win in this mode. Let's see. Oh, it's a lot of difference, actually. That was a huge difference amount. There we go. That was actually, like, a big difference. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Um, so I went from, like, 32... The 25 to 32 damage from when I was in the thing went from 3 to 10. So, like, that's a pretty big change right there. Nailed it. All right, so we'll do another, I guess we'll do the little battle here and we'll do like the variety, try to do, you know, uh... Oh, did I just get a double health thing by somehow? No, okay. So as you said, down, we're gonna get the little dudes to uh, do more damage. Look at little dudes, do it. It's all you little dudes. Look at them go, look at them go. Come on, little dudes. <laughs> little dudes. Actually, I'll just go underground. There we go. Nice little dudes! 
All you little dudes, go for it. I can just bounce around down here. My little dude's doing all the work. I'm just kind of just standing back. I'm not. I'm literally not doing my square move just to see how well these little dudes do. Little dudes is good. I like that. All right, here we go. And we'll do that. And we'll do sorry this. Get that little dude. Oh, I got hit there, but that's fine. We got two little dudes. Here we go. Going underground. Good job, little dudes. Okay, oh no, can I have the- I was gonna say, can I have the power- can I have the, uh, experience? It sucks that there's chicken literally everywhere. Did you notice that? And splash. Oh look, there's Tessa! Wait, hold on, or Persephone, can I do another quick level up? I can't. 720 is the next level up. And we don't have enough, sadly. We do have a full chicken though, so that's nice. You know, let's go over here and uh, get some more coins. Is this enough? We got enough! Oh, we got enough for one more upgrade! Let's go! Let's get that upgrade and then we'll use that one. And that'll be the end of it because I think timer's going to go out any second now. Press square while playing trumpet to play a solo note. Press square when playing a trumpet to play a solo note when home in and damage nearby enemies. So, oh, so you go. Skylanders of the life element are stronger in this zone. Don't care. Give it up. 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 Don't care. Oh! Ooh! Okay, we're gonna use that one now. Chicken torpedoes? Are you kidding me? Don't even care. <laughs> I'll get hit by a chicken torpedo. A torpedo is uh, what they call the little taquito rats at one of my, uh, at Circle K, if I'm not mistaken. They're called torpedoes or tornadoes, one of it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do just a, uh, we're gonna do on these ones. Actually, here we go. Okay, there's the big, where's one of them? Oh, what in the world? It keeps, it's not shooting at, it's supposed to home at enemies. It's supposed to home at enemies. Oh, come on now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, you can do a rapid fire. Okay, I like this. Too bad it's aiming at the wrong enemy. I don't like that, it homes in on the wrong thing. Do that, give me, here we go, you have that. We'll get rid of your. Oh, I killed! I killed it. Okay. Okay. Oh no! No, no, he isn't dead. Never mind. Here we go. See, like it's aiming at that little chicken that just ran off the edge. Well, it's doing some pretty good damage. It does seven. Now the thing, it does seven, seven while it's while I'm um, supercharged. So I don't know if that's a big difference. I don't know if that's good. If that's Better? That's obviously not better if it only does seven. That knows what it does if I'm not supercharged. We're gonna level up again. Yeah. yeah! And my alarm is going off. That means the timer is up. We'll swipe that off there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this. But we are gonna cut to my face. And I think I think I have a good rating for him. I know that we only got to the end where we only just got this part. But we did get a few upgrades and stuff. So I think I can give him a pretty fair rating here in the end. So, yeah, we're gonna leave that here now, and let's cut to my face, and let's give him a definitive rating. So again, I 1000% apologize for not having Fiesta ready to go for this. Uh, I just straight up didn't even know that he wasn't fully upgraded. I've totally forgot that I play as Frightful Fiesta, because that's who I was playing as during my first initial playthrough of it, and I never went back and played as him, so it's good to know that he's, um... He needed some leveling up, which he's at level 12 there now, so he leveled up pretty quickly. I just gotta do a lot of upgrading now once I eventually do him in the supercharge lock in the future. Um, so overall, for his thing, so back if you didn't know, I did have him on my disappointing list because I was very underwhelmed by his moves, and I still kinda am. The straight up horn move where you hold down and just blow the horn around, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. The little dudes do a nice bit of damage. Um, as far as I know, you can get an upgrade that gives you three, so three of them will be pretty good. The thing is, the enemies don't seem to focus on them, is what I noticed. And the triangle move, where you fade, where you flat out, where you go underneath, it does reduce a lot of damage, but I don't see me using that a lot, if that makes any sense. Um, and I got the upgrade right at the end, where you can shoot that one note, and that was pretty good for rapid fire, but it didn't do, like, any damage. It did seven while I was supercharged, so I'm hoping there's an upgrade for that one to make that one stronger. But we can't judge on that when it comes to strength and stuff. It's just, that seems to be a pretty decent move in general. 
but I really just, it's not my thing. I think I'm just going to use the regular straight up horn and the little dudes most of the time. I don't see me using flat out a lot um, because it kind of gets you stuck. No, I mean, there's a, probably, as I said, there's probably an upgrade that makes that move where when you're underground, you can do like a path or something, or little enemies come up and all that stuff. And th there definitely is. It's just, I just haven't, you know, unlocked it. <laughs> or I forgot because I haven't played SBS in so long. But I think the only fair rating I can give him is a 3 out of 5 just because I didn't have all his moveset and I never got a good chance to play with his fully leveled up moveset. So I think 3 out of 5 is pretty good overall because I did enjoy his moveset. It's just I feel like there's some stuff that could have been better and maybe with the upgrades it could have been better. So I think 3 out of 5 is pretty fair. So let me know your rating in the comments below like always. I love reading your comments and let me know if you like or don't like Fiesta and let me know which Skylar you're excited for in a future episode of Honesty Half Hour because they will be coming up, I promise you that. But as always, I bid you farewell.